it's about the middle of August and we're here on the terraces, pretty much uh, full sun at Mountain Gardens and we want to look at this plant here, Blue Vervain, Verbena hostata. So this is a plant that occurs locally. Uh, I've seen it once or twice in kind of moist uh, fields. Uh, it's a herb of full sun and it seems to like fairly moist conditions. It never looks very happy, this one. It's always, uh, I can see at the moment, looks like it's kind of mildewed, a little bit white coating on the leaves, and always pretty chewed up, little holes all over it. I thought it was going to die. This, these plants are two years old now, and uh, I really thought they were going to die the first year around. They looked very poor. But they came back strong the second year, and here they are flowering, so they're evidently not that unhappy. Uh, in spite of you know, the appearance, to the contrary. So this is a useful herb for a variety of purposes. You can uh, mash it up and poultice it for burns or uh, pain of different kinds. Uh, as a tea or a tincture, it's uh, particularly useful as a nerving, or at least that's what attracted our attention. So. My friend Janet Cook wrote a book called Ease Your Mind, Herbs for Mental Health, and she discusses, uh, we'll give you a photograph of that, she discusses blue vervain as an underutilized uh, nervine, particularly good for anxiety, and particularly for anxiety caused by uh, uh, people who have set too high standards for themselves and then can't live up to them, that kind of thing, or impose them on other people. So there's a very nice little write-up uh, about this herb. From that point of view, it's also a galactagog, uh, promotes milk production in nursing mothers. It's also extremely bitter, so it can be used as a digestive tonic. So it has a variety of interesting uses. It's easy to grow from seed. It's quite attractive when it's in bloom. You can see some of them get pretty tall, six feet. This has been in bloom for a while, actually. It's getting towards the end of its bloom period. Uh, we raised these from seed with no problem and yeah, two years to uh, flower and I presume it's going to be a perennial. And that's Blue Vervain, Verbena Hastana.